Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna be working on the power brick for the um, pole position. Um, we need to get it all taken apart. I did take some pictures of where the wiring goes underneath and on top. This has like a gold anodized finish on it. We're gonna sand it down and we're just gonna use gold spray paint. I did that on my last one and it actually looked pretty good. So we're just gonna go ahead and copy it and do the same thing again. Um, I am noticing a couple wires here. I don't know what this is. No idea, but we'll just throw it off to the side for now. Um, somebody's definitely done some work to it. I want to clean this harness, which we'll do afterwards. First, I, I just want to get this all taken apart. So we're going to get it stripped down so that we can sand it and get it painted so that the next video we can put it together and continue on with uh, finishing up this game here hopefully soon. I forgot to figure out what monitor that was last night, so I need to do that tonight so I can order the parts that are needed for it. I'm just going to keep all the nuts and bolts right on this uh, countertop over here by the vise for now. I'm going to have to get a new fuse holder. This one's completely got burned out. And I don't know what, where this wiring even is for that one, but we're going to get rid of it because it is definitely screwed up. Somebody replaced some of the fuses. I think what I'm going to do is just unscrew these and kind of leave them, the wires connected to them for now, but you got to remove the fuses to get to the Phillips screws underneath. One, two, three, it's a five slot fuse holder. So you can just kind of leave those connected so we know where the, well, you know what? No, I'm not going to be able to because I need to get them through that hole. I guess we'll leave the one side connected. This is orange on both sides. Okay. And that one was down here. My picture should show all this stuff. If not, I'll have to go in the house and look at my pole position, which is not the end of the world. Somebody put in a fuse holder here. This is, I'm guessing, right here was the one that was burned out there. So I would like to possibly put that back to normal. This is a. 30 amp fuse it requires a 25 amp slow blow fuse and somebody stuck a 30 in there that's not really what you should be doing you should definitely use what it recommends a 25 because if you start having a problem and it's supposed to blow anything above 25 it's going to keep going until it blows a 30 amp breaker or not breaker but fuse so yeah we're going to get rid of this we're going to put it back onto here on a new power, on a new uh, fuse holder. I might have a five slot. If I don't, we still have a radio shack out here. I'm pretty sure they will have it at the radio shack. So I need to cut this off because I don't want to use this. I don't like this idea. So I wonder if my knife will cut this. That's good. have to cut some of these wires here and re-solder them unless they're on unless I can unplug them from underneath we'll look once we get underneath it oh boy okay so that 
that's all off. So now we have that monstrosity disconnected. Um, let's go underneath. All these are broken. It's supposed to have tabs on the sides that hold them into place. Not really much I can do about that. Maybe I can hot glue them in place if I can do a neat, neat enough job of it. Somebody's already replaced the big blue capacitors with these black ones. And pole position requires two of them, not one. One goes on here, the other one bolts to the bottom of the cabinet. So if anybody ever sees a pole position and are wondering why the heck is there two big blue capacitors? No, somebody did not put a second one in there and was too lazy to take one out. It requires two. I'm going to clean all these nuts and bolts up on my wire wheel. I'm not going to tumble them because it takes too long and I want to get this put together. So we'll just wire wheel all this stuff down. Let's uh, flip this over for now. I already took pictures of this, so I know that the uh, plus side is orange, negative purple. Now, you really should discharge these because more than likely there's still power in it. But I'm going to be careful and try not to shock myself. because those do tend to hold power. The game hasn't been powered on in a while, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't still have a charge. Somebody soldered new wires on. They must have played, replaced this at some point. I always forget what that's called. Bridge rectifier, maybe? So we're just gonna leave it soldered together. I don't mind soldered joints like that. Okay, that's, well, you know what, I'm going to have to cut them. Darn it. It's a little rusty underneath here. Missing a screw. I've actually torn apart, torn apart quite a few of these in the past. We'll have to sand inside of here and paint that gold as well. If you leave it bare metal, it's just going to rust again.
I usually don't use drills or anything for this. I usually just try to do them all by hand. I don't want to be stripping anything out. Um, how do I want to do this? this wire here but I'm going to cut it in the middle of the shrink wrap I need to get grab a pair of cutters let me go get some cutters okay so I'm going to cut this one there's black shrink wrap on it so I know if I cut it in the middle that I know I need to hook the two up that are black heat shrinked Okay, now we got this purple wire that goes that way. We have this yellow wire, which I'm gonna have to cut, but that's fine because we'll splice that back together. pushing in these tabs so that I can get it to go down. This plastic starts getting old and it gets hard to push. Take that nut off of this uh, fuse holder. You know what? I'm going to cut these two wires because I know I, I can re-solder them on. So I'm going to leave a little bit showing so I know how they went. One's a little bit lighter brown than the other, but I don't really. It doesn't really matter. That we can clean up now. We just need to get this fuse holder out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab some channel locks or something, players.
these ones are always a pain in the butt. All we have left is this grommet right here. Okay. Looks like this sticker is good. We could tape that off and the fuse sticker. Looks like we should be able to tape both of those off. This one's kind of screwed up, but probably save it. Just so people know what size fuse goes in there. I mean, technically, I'm gonna get rid of that one because I'm gonna put the right fuse in there. It's a seven amp fuse. Um, let's see what was in there. Probably the wrong size. Because there's rust underneath it and I'd like to clean that up. That's a seven. Okay. All right, let me uh, grab some tape or tape off these two and a razor blade and this serial number will tape off. And then we can uh, sand it down, get it spray painted. This thing is pretty disgusting looking. Once again, I'm kind of letting the video run tonight just to give you guys an idea about how long this takes to do. Other than me stopping it a couple times to just grab a few supplies, I really haven't done anything else to this while I stopped the camera. Okay, let me uh, move this over to the floor. I'm just going to sand it on the floor real quick. I'm going to sand it on my stool here. I don't feel like trying to bend on the floor. We're using 80 grit first to just knock down the big stuff.
Before I put this little wire wheel on here, I want to sand this bottom plate. I'm just going to paint this gold as well. This is a piece of galvanized. Okay, I'm not turning the fans on for this little bit of spray painting. So I'm just using this uh, metallic gold Krylon paint. You got a little bit left in this can, and then I have a full can. No, it does not look like the cap. This will protect the metal from future rusting. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna put the next coat on. I'll come back after it's painted. Just gotta put one more coat on. It's looking pretty good though. 
Okay, while that's drying, I like to tape off this and shoot the edges of this black again. It just makes it look a lot nicer. So I'm gonna get this all taped off. Because they, they get they tend to get a little rusty looking. And then uh, they just don't look that good when everything's done. Now, underneath there, I'm not too worried about. As long as I get these sides, obviously, underneath there, you're never going to see it. Plus, it's actually pretty clean. The gold spray paint will dry until tomorrow. I'll show it to you here in a few. Actually, I want to show you guys a trick on taping up these wires to keep overspray from getting on them. Give me one second to go get something, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I use this on um, cars when I'm doing engine compartments and stuff. You don't want to take all the wiring out. Aluminum foil. Grab your ball of wires. Wrap it up in aluminum foil. And that kind of groups them all together for you and keeps them out of the overspray. No, aluminum foil is not really that cheap, but neither is tape anymore. Tape's just really expensive. Sometimes you got to go for speed to get stuff done. Okay, we're just going to take some satin black and paint over this these uh, spots. I'm going to leave the glue residue and stuff just so it kind of looks original. So let me go, we'll go get this in the spray booth and put a paint, coat of paint on that. All right, I just have it sitting on my dirty, dusty floor right now that I need to clean with all that dry paint. So we're just using the Krylon Fusion All-in-One 5X Matte Finish Black. We're not gonna go crazy with it, just gonna get a nice coat on here. That's it. And here is what the gold parts look like. They look really nice. I'm just gonna let them dry overnight, even though this stuff dries to a touch in 20 minutes. You don't really want to be messing with it. Let it cure overnight. All right, well that's gonna end this video. I just wanted to get that torn down so that we can put it back together. 
once uh, that paint dries and I'll stop at Radio Shack tomorrow. Hopefully they'll have one of those five place fuse holders and we'll replace that. Um, wiring harness will clean up probably with some simple green. Um, we'll clean these up tomorrow on the wire wheel. All these uh, fasteners and everything, get all those cleaned up and then we can start putting it back together. And then once it's together, get it in the bottom of the cabinet and then we can go from there. So I think that's it. Um, all right, guys. Well, that's going to end this video. If you're liking what you're seeing, please like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to ask. Um, I pretty much did this in real time other than stopping it to go grab something. So that's about how long it takes to take one of these apart. Um, it's fairly quick. So um, it just makes your restoration that much nicer when it's done. When you see a nice, clean power brick in the bottom of your cabinet. So, all right, guys. You have a good night, and I will see you guys tomorrow.